medium man, physical medium man, physical medium man. What you buy? Was it something good? What's up, guys? Physical medium man back here again for another physical medium man Monday video. Um, I got. If, if you haven't seen it yet, um, I had a big 50% off weekend haul. And then, so 50% off at two Goodwill, or three Goodwills, 20% off at um, Half Price Books, 20% off of Blu-rays, and then 50% off of DVDs at Disc Replay, all in this one weekend. I went on Saturday and Sunday to those stores. But earlier in that week, um, I had two Facebook Marketplace deals. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. So before I get started, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, leave feedback. Do all that good stuff down below. I'll leave the links to my Instagram, my Physical Media Man store Instagram, my Facebook page for the Physical Media Man slash Physical Media Man store, um, the Facebook page for my non-media related items, the HodgePodge Garage, uh, my email, my eBay, and my Film Efficient Auto page where you can follow along with uh, my collection, which is not yet up to date, as well as um, the movies I'm after, my wish list. So, I had one deal on Tuesday, I think. Um, saw these these video games, and um, the person was about a half an hour away. We ended up meeting about 15 minutes away, um, so that was nice. Um, three dollars a piece for the games and then I got a controller for three dollars so first up and the one I it made it worth going and doing this uh, we got test drive Eve of destruction for whatever reason this game is very sought after um, it goes online for 40 to 50 dollars so I, I actually have posted this on eBay it currently has a bid at 24 dollars total so I spent 18 on this whole lot so I've made my money back hopefully there's about two or three days left, so hopefully it goes up quite a bit more and I make some more profit to pay for the rest of the stuff that I've bought and recently. So, um, very happy to, to get this so I could sell it. Um, I played it, it's pretty fun, but I do kind of want to get it on PlayStation 2, so um, I got rid of it. Um, this is an upgrade of sorts. I had an old Hollywood video rental copy, so it wasn't the actual artwork. It had like a square with the, this artwork on it, so not the full thing. Um, the case needs cleaning, but I put it in, it plays fine. Um, so yeah, an upgrade of sorts. Um, same thing here, I had a greatest hits copy of this, um, and this is missing manual. Um, hits comes with the manual. Um, this is missing manual, but I have the manual for my greatest hits copy. I'll be selling the greatest hits copy. Um, I'd get rid of it for two or three dollars. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, it would be missing the manual since I'm going to be putting the manual with this one. Um, next step, I played this too, and it works fine. It is missing manual. If you're, for whatever reason, have this game and you you're wanting to get rid of the manual, let me know. I'd be interested in, in getting it from you, purchasing it. Um, we got Burnout 3 Takedown. Uh, I had Burnout Paradise on PlayStation 3 and thought it was pretty good, so um, picked this up for my collection. And then I also got this uh, demo disc. It's a uh, Xbox Expedition um, Exhibition, sorry, demo disc uh, for Xbox. And it's got nine playable demos: Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, Toe Jam and Earl, Three Mission to Earth. Uh, Panzer Dragoon Orta, uh, NFL Fever 2003, Time Splitters 2, Whacked, Halo, Combat Evolved, Madden NFL 2003, and Quantum Redshift. Um, so yeah, and it comes with this manual type thing, and um, I always think these are kind of cool to add to the collection, and it's in good shape. And I also got an Xbox, original Xbox controller. Uh, I've kind of cleaned it up, but it still needs some more cleaning. Um, and when I put it in last time, or plugged it in last time, it was doing that thing where it just keeps going. Uh, and so it wasn't really working. So hopefully I'm able to get that 
fix, but regardless, I've already recouped the money I spent, so, and I added some things to the collection, so that's pretty neat, so, very happy about that purchase. And then the next one was some Nintendo games I was after. I have not yet tested these, so hopefully they work. Um, he said the last time he played them, they did, so I'm really hoping they do. $15 total for this box of stuff. I'm a little nervous about the Xbox games, but I only really bought it for the Nintendo games. So, um, I mean, I would have spent that just on those. So, And he also threw in some extras. Um, so first up is one the one I was mainly after. And it seems to be in fine shape. We got Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. So really happy to add this to the collection. Um, looking forward to, to playing it. Um, I never played this game so um, yeah that was the one I was mainly after um, so we got three copies of Super Mario Bros slash Duck Hunt and I already have a copy um, these seem to be in pretty good shape I, like I said I've not yet tested but I will test and and uh, I'll probably clean them up a little bit even though some like this one seems to be pretty good condition um, I'm going to do that before I try to sell them, but if you're interested in them, let me know. Next up is another one to add to my collection. Um, we got Wrath of the Black Manta. Not familiar with it, but um, again, happy to add it to the collection. Next up, um, there is some, some wear here where the sticker's not really sticking all the way, but it's fine up top. Um, we got Godzilla Monster of Monsters. So here's another one to add to my collection. And he also has his name written on it. I need to try to get that off too. But that makes me think that this was his actual collection and he's just getting rid of it because there's a couple more that have his name written on it. So we got another Super Mario Bros. slash Duck Hunt that'll be for sale. And then another one. So I figure I could hopefully with those three almost get uh, my money back and then we got some California games this one also needs clean pretty bad um, but the labels in good condition so that's a big plus looking forward to checking that out and then another one for my collection we got Kabuka Quantum Fighter not familiar with this either um, but happy to add it to the collection and then we got Shadow of the Ninja Man, or the manual the labels in good condition on this one too so very happy about these so hopefully they all play fine um, next up is one that needs clean but it'll be for sale if you're interested in it let me know we got dr. Mario for the original Nintendo and lastly this one's also for me we got uh, Karnov again the manual or the manual why keep doing that the labels in good condition so it just needs cleaned a little bit and it'll be added to the collection and then it also came with these Xbox games. And the discs are not in the best condi condition on them. This one comes with manual though. We got Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Uh, manual included. Uh, Platinum Hits edition of Need for Speed Underground. He also, this wasn't in the original posting and he um, added a copy. And it also came with a loose Carnival games for the Wii also scratched uh, but with manual on this we got Super Mario Bros Wii and I already have like three copies because uh, one I got was scratched and I, one was missing manual or something and I got one in the little cardboard thing so yeah if, if you need a replacement case or replacement manual let me know on that um, this one also comes with manual we got Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon 2 Summit Strike I got the first one on PlayStation 2 over there, but yeah, this will be for sale. Um, I'll probably try to test them, and they might still work even though they're scratched. If not, I'll just be selling as is, or I might just sell the case and the manual separately or what. But this one comes with manual too. We got NBA Ballers. Also with manual, Platinum's at Hits edition of Test Drive. Uh, we got a GameCube game, um, two-disker, 
Pac-Man versus Pac-Man World 2, player's choice version. And lastly, we got Medal of Honor Rising Sun on Xbox with manual. So, if you're interested in any of those non-Nintendo games, let me know, because they're all up for grabs. So, I was very... Oh, and I forgot. There's a very grody controller that needs clean for the PlayStation 3. Uh, I'm going to see if this one works. If it does, a huge added bonus. Um, but yeah, thanks to him for throwing all those two things in. That was a great deal. So very excited about those additions to the gaming collection. It's one of the things I'm most excited to add to is the gaming collection because it's harder to do and more expensive. So um, that's everything I got. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this is Physical Media Man signing off. Physical media will never die. Physical media man. Physical media man. Physical media man. Yeah! I'm back. I forgot I had an unboxing, uh, an eBay purchase. So, and it's gaming related and I just got it that same week. And this is really taped, so... Bear with me. This was only like $2.50 total, including shipping. Well, here we got the invoice, I think. Let's see here. Oh, $3.50 total, including shipping. Another addition to the Dreamcast collection, nice bubble wrapped. We got NHL 2K, so happy to add this to the collection. Uh, like I've said before, I'm after the complete Dreamcast collection. I think it's maybe 200 games, 300, not not too many, but they're hard to find. So uh, recently, as long as the price isn't too outlandish, I've been picking up anything I don't have, um, regardless of of what it is, just because they're hard to find. So yeah. Happy to add this to the collection. See ya.